Now in this video we will be discussing on two major things like about a Cisco and different certification tracks Cisco provides like CCNA, CCNP, CCIE and what are the different specializations just an overview of all those things. So in the previous section if you remember we have discussed some of the networking devices like switches, routers like switch is a device which provides a centralized location to connect all your computers in the LAN and when you talk about routers provide a WAN connections and then firewalls a security device which provides a secure secure access to the internet or some of the voice devices like IP phones and then data center devices like some servers wireless devices like access points now Cisco is a leading manufacturer of all these devices here now here as we are doing some CCNA course we'll be getting into some basic overview of Cisco Cisco is a manufacturer of all these devices now Cisco provides some different certification tracks or uh, contents or syllabus for different levels of certifications like Cisco majorly divides into three level certifications the first one is associate level which we call as CCNA Cisco certified network associate and we have something called professional level certifications we call it as a CCNP Cisco certified network professional and then we got some expert level certifications like we call it as CCIE Cisco certified internet work expert now these are the three major levels of certifications we can say now uh, there are some entry level certification also which is something uh, very less commonly people will go with that one because the people whoever wants their career to start in the Cisco networking probably they will start with CCNA and then the highest level of certification is CCI and above to that there is something called architect level certification but there's something a little bit rare and very well less in number you have but majorly most of the people go with CCNA, CCNP and CCI certifications now these are the different levels of certifications we can say now again these certifications again we have different specialization tracks like uh, we have something called routing switching track if I if I just go with some overview we got something called routing and switching track and then we have some CCNA in the routing switching CCNP in the routing switching and CCI routing switching now routing switching is a specialized track which majorly deals with a specialization in the LAN where we are dealing with a switches and then a specialization on the routers and then you can you can advance your skills from CCNA routing switching and then CCNP routing switching and if you want to go into the expert level certifications then we can go for CCI routing switching now similar way we got some other tracks like security we have CCNA security CCNP security and CCI security now this track majorly focuses on implementing security in your LAN as well as in the WAN like how we can uh, protect our networks from the different types of attacks in the LAN or in the WAN like securing your routers and you will get introduced to some of the firewall devices Cisco ASA firewalls uh, you get into more into security specialization in this tracks here so that's what CCNA, CCNP, CCI security covers and again we got some voice specialization now here you will be majorly covering about VOIP voice over internet protocol start from associate level to expert level certifications and then we got another track like service border track now CCNA service border CCNP service border and CCI service border majorly deals with the different specific technologies used by the service borders like MPLS BGP technologies and then it deals with the kind of networks which service providers uses to provide WAN connections or or, to, or maintaining some internet connections something like that so that's a separate track dedicated for that now there are many other tracks like uh, Cisco have been into wireless tracks again in that wireless again you got CCNA, CCNP, CCI majorly deals with wireless implementations uh, if you have in the LAN or in the WAN what kind of different wireless technologies we use and how they work and what are the different devices used to set up those kind of networks now again we got some uh, some new kind of new new introduction like data center CCNA CCNP CCI data center now this track specializes mostly on the some virtualization 
kind of things and some of the UCS servers used by Cisco high-end unified computing systems and some of the Nexus switching kind of stuff. So majorly how a data center is going to run and what are the different different kinds of devices used in the data center environments uh, where we, we store a huge amount of information like storage area networks majorly deals with that kind of specialization. Now again we got uh, some other tracks like we got some design track, CCDA, CC design associate, design professional and CCDE we call it as design expert. So majorly on, on designing kind of things. Now apart from that you heard some new tracks added in the in the Cisco like we got some service board operations. Now this is more into kind, some kind of uh, how the administration or runs more into that. And then Cisco added a new track called CC collaboration, which includes some of the voice technology we added with some video. And then you got some CCNA video is also added in the new tracks. Now Cisco keep on updating these things like there might be some new tracks coming up or uh, it, uh, there might be some older tracks removed. It all depends again. Now probably all this information you'll find on the Cisco website. Uh, if you if you get if you get into the like to know some more information, you can always visit a Cisco website. You can go to cisco.com to, to find the update information. Now, if you have a Cisco account, you can directly log into that. You can create a Cisco account. If you go to training and events, here you'll find different types of certifications. Like if you go with any one of this, if I just click on more, here you'll find some different types of trainings and certifications. Let me go back to training and certifications here. Now when I click on this here, you can find the same snapshot of the diagram. And if you click on this, any one of these codes, like let me go with CCNA routing switching, the one which we are going to cover here. You'll find some overview, some video on introduction, what exactly CCNA routing switching covers. Uh, it's a certification program for entry level engineers. And what is the examination code? Like the current is 200, uh, 200, 120, or you can write in two papers like ICND1, ICND2, and you can get some more information like self-study materials you'll find. And if you want to get into details on on exactly what it covers, you can review the exam topics, what exactly it covers, and you can click on it. You need a Cisco account to log into that to view the complete contents. Now here you can see the complete contents and you can give show details to verify what exactly it covers. Now similar way you can go into any other tracks as well like let's say I'll go to CCNA wide video or whatever it is and you can find some more information on that. What are the different examination codes and you can view the syllabus. Now let me just quickly summarize the information here. Now Cisco develops certifications. We have some different certifications, uh, different tracks Cisco provides. And each and every track is going to be a specialized track again. Now majorly, you have three different tracks, CCNA, CCNP, and expert level certifications. Now, uh, wherever you want to start your career, either you can start with any of the entry level certifications, or normally, this is the first track which you have to go with. Now, even if you are planning for any security specializations, maybe you have a plan to do some CCNA, CCNP security, let's say an example but you have to start with CCNA routing switching. And certification wise also, this is something a prerequisite for, for any of the professional level or associate level certifications. And then probably you can advance your skills to the next level depending upon your interest, but this is the first track you have to cover. So normally I suggest you to go with the CCNP routing switching knowledge as well. That's something recommended again, but certification wise, it's not compulsory. And then you can advance your skills either to expert level certification after getting some experience or some uh, in-depth knowledge on that or you can move on to any one of these tracks depending upon your interest or maybe on the market demand or or if you're working for any company maybe uh, depend choosing the correct track is totally depends upon your experience or your interest or it can be a market demand or based on the requirement for whatever the company you are working for